around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out, and he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. From the 21, it's second and 10. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. That incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play unable to connect in that attempt. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And the return will stop right around the 25. Well, pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive I think they just crossed it on that one. Brings up second and Six four. yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third. Darnold on third down. That is caught. It's Perriman. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal New York. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Now Bell. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on the play. Second and goal, the lone man in the backfield, Le'Veon Bell. four-yard line. Now it's Darnold. And he's got it. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. That is into the hands of Paraman. Touchdown, Jets. Rashad Paraman. Rashad Paraman. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24 yards. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They were losers a week ago to Arizona, but they're on top here as they start this drive with a first and 10. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. If this was boxing, you think maybe they would have thought about stopping this one because this defense has been bruised, it's been battered, but this is why they keep the fight going, right? They just got done with a really nice play, showing they still got a little bit left, don't they? Haven't had many plays that they can clip, put in the film room and smile about, but hey, there's one. Clip and save. 
He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Miami. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Ashton Davis on the return. The Jets take over first and ten. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now first and ten at about the 32. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He's and that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or creep or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. 43-yard line. It's a gain of three. And the Jets first down. On first down, it's Darnold. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the Pro Bowler, Byron Jones. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Touchdown, Dolphins. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Sanders now to have the extra point. Now he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Fresh off the pick six, it's Darnold. Docks him with a grab over the middle. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. New York. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Darnold. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll run it with Bell. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. It's brought in by Dachson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 37. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 37-yard line. Darnold completes it, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Not much there, only a yard. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Darnold on first down. Got a man. It's Barrios complete. 
And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On first down, Darnold. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Darnold. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Back to the air, Darnold on second down. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. To the air again, Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Marr able to put this one through, and that'll get this back down to a 20-point spread. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens, and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. And the Jets first down. They'll run on first down. Bell. Now he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. He's had his eyes on 7,000 career rushing yards, and with that last effort, he has hit that mark. What a career. And that is the number to focus in on because oftentimes we talk about where do they rank all time. We're not there yet. He's not knocking on the top 10 or the top 20, but over 7,000 yards in a career, fantastic. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. First down, New York. 
It's the former Hurricane Blade, Frank Gore. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. McMillan on the tackle. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Second and five at the 19-yard line. Another carry now for Gore. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. ball carrier. Frank Gore, of course, with ties to the city of Miami, born in Coral Gables. He played for these Dolphins for one season, 2018, and, of course, was a collegiate star at the University of Miami from 2001 to 04. Darnold's pass complete to Bruce. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Le'Veon Bell with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own. Out comes the Miami offensive unit. Now they get set to take over. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off around. 27 and he'll take this back down inside the 20. Offense. That's not now. So a holding penalty and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean we know that right? We talk to him all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 22 yards. A good pick up there, 22. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Intended for third quarter from Miami. This is second and 10. Byron Jones on the coverage. To throw is Darnold. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Darnold to throw again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bell. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. They'll run it with Bell, and this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down, and that will force a turnover on downs. And he's going to lose yardage back to his own one-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Running the ball can be a struggle in this part of the field. In fact, it's a perfect spot for defenders to pin their ears back and try and work up field, and they capture him for a loss. And they won't be able to run another play.